Hey everyone, it's Rodimus Primal, and I am back here on my second channel, Rodimus Primal Talks, back with another video, and boy, oh boy, does this Henry Cavill thing just, it it's exploding into something that I really never expected it to do so, uh, because, I mean, he was somebody that, I, you know, no matter how you feel about the Man of Steel or any of the, of the DCEU films, whether you liked them or you hated them, I always felt that he was, like, really good as Superman. And, you know, I, I love the character. I still love the character. Of course, I want to see, would like to see more movies with him as Superman, but good Superman movies. Um, but, I mean, of course, no one can ever top Christopher Reeve. I mean, he is, like, the gold standard, right? Well, after his cancellation, after hearing, you know, uh, the report that, of course, that he had met with James Gunn, and, you know, now, of course, he's not going to be Superman anymore... You know, everyone's like, what are they going to do? Or, though they should fire James Gunn. And, I mean, I have, it's like the drama is like unfolding in like this crazy way. And, um, you know, the thing is like, at the end of the day, what we end up starting to learn about Henry Cavill is that he's a nerd. He's a geek like us. He's passionate about things like Superman. He is a big Warhammer fan, which is... I'm going to be honest with you, I know nothing about Warhammer, and I know nothing about The Witcher, which is kind of funny that he ends up being getting end up being a part of The Witcher, uh, leaving the show in order to return back as Superman, only to get kind of like thrown to the side after his cameo in Black Adam, and now we're hearing some stuff about him with Warhammer, and I want to get all into this. I mean, this whole thing right here just kind of like really rubs me the wrong way because it kind of tells me of this like weird jealousy out of people. You know, I was, start, I was looking around like because like some people have been putting this post up all over social media, trying to find it on Twitter. So I guess some people might have deleted their tweets and like so I had to find it from another Another tweet because it's the same stuff. And if you read the first line in this tweet, it's from somebody who knows somebody that worked on The Witcher. Now, everything I've heard from interviews about Henry Cavill on The Witcher is that the director loved him, the people he, all of the women that were on the show with him loved him on the show. I've not seen it. I, I kind of said to myself, it's like, I'm not going to go watch the show if I've not played the games. And I've heard that he wanted to make sure it fe fell, uh, you know, followed the source material. And he was very passionate about trying to make sure that the show did so. It might have been part of his contract. He's a big name. He's already playing Superman. And sure enough, you get these folks that come in and they know nothing of the video games. They know nothing of the books or wherever the source material comes from. And they're very, I would say that the people in Hollywood are toxic to nerds who are into this stuff. And they immediately start calling nerds names and, and, and everything under the sun in order to paint them in a bad light just simply because they love this stuff. This is where they, you know, let's just put it this way. You go to school and you're into the nerdy, geeky stuff. Uh, you know, you get made fun of by people in school. They start sitting there telling you, oh, you're still into that, blah, 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 blah. Not realizing this is what brings you joy. You you find, like, this is something that you really love. You love playing video games. You love reading comic books. You love, uh, you know, watching, you know, cartoons and, and what have you. And they're making fun of you for it. Then you become an adult. And you're still into it, and they still look at you like you're some crazy, like, nutbag or whatever because you're still into it. But it's like, this is the thing that I still find joy in and I still love. Now, Henry Cavill, what's interesting about him is that he has openly said, like, yeah, like, stop calling fans toxic. They're passionate, right? And... You read this thing, it says, I recently got this message and somebody was like, do you want to know what really went down? I was like, sure, let me read it. And right when I read that, that immediately set off the red flag to me that this was a third-hand information. Everything that's written here, uh, and you can read it here. I mean, it's, I have it right here on the screen, you know, all in white. 
I'm not even going to read it because, I mean, I've already read it. But I look at it and I go, it sounds to me like somebody was not happy that he had the ability to say, no, we need to make sure it's it's right for the character. It's right for the source material. It's right for the character or right for the source material. Um, and so here what this person actually does is start saying, well, it comes from the same place. It comes from the same place. The 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 QAnon and the 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 um you know no and it's 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 crazy because you read it and he said he wasn't grabbing anyone or lewd or disrespectful, but it's toxic. No, you're the one who's toxic. You're the one who's toxic because you have third hand information and you're you're sitting there pointing fingers at somebody and immediately calling somebody who's into their games crazy you're trying basically what happened was is that he had probably had in his contract that he could go into them and say listen this has got to follow the source material or i'm just not going to play the character and eventually he got to the point where he said he was going to leave and it all came around the same time that he was also told he was going to play superman again comes does his cameo with black adam which was amazing which was awesome that he was back you know, in the costume again, you can, and I'm going to say this, you can hate the DCEU all you want. I really enjoyed him as Superman. You know, I really felt like he was a really good Superman. And James Gunn wants to go with a different direction, going back to the young Superman again. And you're just like, oh, can we like, are, are we not tired of this yet? <laughs> like going back and doing the young Superman all over again, when we could finally have Superman fighting one of his supervillains that gives him a run for his money. Give us, you know, the whole Mongol. Give us a Brainiac. Give us a Parasite. Give us some villains, some, some Superman villains. You know, do something that Marvel doesn't do. You know what Marvel's really horrible at? Marvel is horrible at giving us villains that really make the hero have to work for their win. And they always they, they, they weaken the villain, they take the villain's costume away, and then they kill the villain at the end, right? Happens almost all the time in Marvel movies. DC has just as much, has as many villains that they could showcase. Like, everyone always focuses on the Batman villains, right? But Superman has villains that either one, either give him a run for his money from the fact that he's super strong and they might be super smart, or they might be just as powerful as he is and give him a run for his money, or it might be a little bit of both. And villains like Metallo and Brainiac and and uh, and Mongol, like, like they all can all give him a run for his money. Like he actually would have to like legit fight them, and to have, to see Superman in action that way on screen would be amazing. The problem is, is that will they do that? Are they just going to go back to he starts at the Daily Planet, he becomes Superman, and there's Lex Luthor? once again and i mean granted I, I would want a comic book accurate you know uh lex luthor and you can see where i'm already going with this with when i say i want a, a comic book accurate lex luthor and not somebody who is like a a, a whiny little nerd uh and it's kind of funny too because I'm, I'm a whiny little nerd myself right i'm or i'm a whiny big nerd <laughs> right um but i would want a lex luthor who looks like lex luthor right um so Fortunately, Henry Cavill and his girlfriend have pitched to Amazon uh, to do something with Warhammer. Now, I am not a Warhammer fan at all. And uh, so I can't sit here and tell you, like, I know the lore and I know all this stuff. It's not something that I am nerdy about. However, knowing that for 30 years, Henry Cavill has been a big uh, fan of Warhammer and... He and his girlfriend are into it. They enjoy making the miniatures, playing the game, you know, making the sets and all that. They know the lore really well. And uh, that's who Natalie uh, Viscuso, I believe that's who he's dating right now. They can quite literally make an amazing, either a movie or a TV show. And they're going to go through Amazon Studios. And I find that interesting that he would go through Amazon Studios. And I'll tell you why. Amazon right now is in a little bit of a hot pickle because they made the Rings of Power, which quite literally took the uh, lore of the Lord of the Rings and 
put it through a blender of modern lens and screwed it around all over the place. And every single Tolkien fan is going, this is not right. We reject this. We will not watch. We won't, will not enjoy it. And so like, I, I have not heard anything good about Rings of Power because it's not following Tolkien lore. And if you're not going to follow it properly, then don't make it. You know, and I would say the same thing about the one thing that you see behind me, and that's a bunch of robots, Transformers, right? I honestly think the same thing is if you're not going to follow the lore in in a respectful manner to the source material, then stop making it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but I know somebody like Henry Cavill who has dived deep into Warhammer. Like, this is something that he really enjoys. He's now going to be the executive producer to make a Warhammer cinematic universe. And I know some people who are who are into to, to Warhammer, so this would be right up their alley. And I think this is probably a good thing. The other thing that's trending on Twitter right now also is firing James Gunn. I said before in my last video, I want to be respectful, I want to be cautiously optimistic that where they can take DCEU might be in a good place. I'm hoping so. I really do. I will give them a little bit of an inch, but do not, you know, it's one of those things where it's kind of like, are you willing to give the person a chance? And I, I may be only as far as willing to go as like a couple of trailers and kind of go, okay, is it good? You know, has people watched it who, who, who really love the comic book said, yeah, no, this is definitely like falling in line with the way the heroes should be. Or did they screw the pooch with this one? And that's where I might take a step back and go, I'm out. Whereas with Warhammer, I'll give it a chance because I know nothing of it. And if it's going to be directed by or, or executive produced by somebody who actually really loves the lore, like Henry Cavill here, then I'm all for it. And I say, you know, I, this is where I take a step back from all of the drama and let's just make some awesome nerdy stuff. <laughs> Can Hollywood do that? Can we make some awesome nerdy stuff? You know, follow the source material of if the franchise is existing or make something new and fresh. In the 80s, they made plenty of brand new IPs that have now become mainstays. I mean, from the kid stuff that I grew up with, with the Transformers and G.I. Joe, and I mean, G.I. Joe was already around the 60s, but I mean, it was relaunched in the 80s, Voltron and Ninja Turtles and, you know, um, you know, Thundercats. All of that stuff was awesome to us as kids, but then in, the adults had the stuff that kids kind of got into because the cartoons and video games were made, like Predator, and um robocop and you know a lot of stuff that's brand new you know when we want to see some brand new action we want to see some brand new ips and it almost kind of makes you wonder like they say there's nothing new under the sun and warhammer is something that is very 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 um what's the word i'm looking for is if you're if you've never been into it before it would be a good idea to have something that they can dive into and make something new and cool uh, that could allow the general audiences who have never played the game or played any or know any of the books or any of that stuff to get into it. That's what Henry Cavill wanted to do with The Witcher, and that's kind of where he wanted to go with Superman. But and because he respects, you know, us as nerds, so all props to him for that. At least as as far as that is concerned. But I want to know what you guys think. Are you excited about the news about uh, about Warhammer becoming a cinematic universe? Do you think they should fire James Gunn, or do you think that that we should give him a chance? Maybe we might actually get something good out of it. And what do you think about all of these um these folks who are you know giving us uh, he said she said stuff um you know from third hand knowledge about the whole Henry Cavill situation at, uh, with Witcher. Of course, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe and check out my other videos as well. I have many more uh, videos coming down the pipeline. So stay tuned for all of that. And as always, guys, until next time, till all are one.